Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. In this video, I will make a demonstration of the electrical conductivity of glass, such as the glass in this test tube or in this incandescent lamp. It can be surprising to talk about electrical conduction in glass because normally we consider glass as an insulator. In fact, Glass is used in many applications as an electrical insulator. However, the conductivity does not only depend on the type of material, but also on the temperature. So, glass, which is a good, a very good insulator at room temperature, at low temperatures, becomes a conductor if the temperature is high enough and that is what we will see in this video next time you need a pcb for your electronics project consider using the professional services of jlc pcb jlc pcb is the world leader in pcb fabrication you can order online you just need to register, upload your Gerber file, and wait a few days for your PCBs at an unbeatable price. In order to make the experiment, I will use this incandescent lamp. I will break the lamp and use the internal part because, as you can see, it has two wires attached to the glass. So, I will heat this internal part to see if there is electrical conduction between the two wires. Okay, here is the part of the incandescent bulb that I wanted. As you can see, the body is made of glass and it has inserted these two wires. Let's check that there is no conduction between the two wires. I'm going to connect them to the multimeter and you can see that it reads infinite resistance. Therefore, the two wires are connected to the glass, but there is no connection between them. I will use this setup to make the experiment. At these two points comes the AC from the wall. It goes through the lamp, then through the glass and back to the electrical contact. Um, right now it is connected, but electricity does not flow because glass is not conducting at room temperature. If we bypass the glass, you can see how the lamp turns on. Now I will use a torch to heat the glass and then see if the lamp goes on. Okay, as you could see, the lamp went on when the glass was at sufficiently high temperature, becoming a conductor of electricity. That's all for today's video. Thanks for visiting my channel. If you liked this video, please give a like and visit my Patreon page. Thanks and see you in the next one.